So all the extraocular muscles that are attached to the eye are attached in such a way that they cause a combination of movements. So only one muscle that is attached to the eyeball in such a way that it causes only single movement that is lateral rectus because it is attached to the axis so that's why it is the only muscle that its paralysis cause horizontal gaze palsy. So the, the, the mechanism of action of superior oblique we already studied if it goes like toward the trochlea and attaching toward the post, uh, posterior, uh, posterior lateral portion it will cause entorsion and it will move the eye laterally and downward. So when it is paralyzed there will be opposite action. The eye start and it moves upward. So now we will proceed toward the, 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 the important topic stroke. There are a lot of MCQs that are confused and the people are confused uh, by being selecting the, the wrong option. So here we will clear the concept regarding that. Now these are the MCQs that are repeating again and again. So patient is having paralysis with aphasia. Now where is, where is the lesion? Patient is having weakness and his eyes are deviated to the left. Where is the lesion? ACMCA PCA stroke. Now we will first talk about the, 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 the cortical strokes mainly the ACA stroke and the MCA stroke. For the PCA stroke I will make another video. Now a patient comes to you with the personality problems, behavior problems and he is having weakness in the, in the, in the right lower limb with urinary incontinence. So where is the lesion? That is actually the frontal lobe. ACA stroke, anterior cerebral artery stroke. In anterior cerebral artery stroke, the frontal lobe is involved. And we know that behavior and personality is controlled by frontal lobe. And patient is having usually urinary incontinence and the patient is having paralysis in the lower limb more than the upper limb. Keeping in view the contralateral presentation. So a patient is having right lower limb paralysis with urinary incontinence with behavior problem. He is having left ACA stroke. A patient is having left lower limb paralysis. He is having right ACA stroke. Now that is very simple. ACA stroke is very simple. The problem is with the MCA stroke, the middle cerebral artery stroke. So the, 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 the typical presentation of the middle cerebral artery stroke is we already know that a patient is having weakness, <coughs> contralateral weakness of the body but more weakness in the upper limb as compared to the lower limb. That is the key. In the ACA stroke, the lower limb paralysis is more than as compared to the upper limb paralysis. So a patient is having contralateral hemi contralateral hemiparalysis. Second is a patient is usually having aphasia. Now this is this is the, the trick. Aphasia. Now there will be aphasia only if the language center is involved. And the language center lies in the dominant hemisphere. So we already know that in 90 to 95 percent of the people the dominant hemisphere is the left hemisphere. Even it is said that the the, that the left handed people the dominant hemisphere is the left hemisphere in 50 to 90 percent of the left handed people 100 percent of the right handed people the dominant hemisphere is the left cerebral hemisphere and in 50 to 90 percent of the left handed people the dominant hemisphere is the left cerebral hemisphere so there is MCQs person is having paralysis with aphasia now we know that aphasia will only occur if there is damage to the language center and the language center lies in the dominant hemisphere and the dominant hemisphere is the left cerebral hemisphere in 90 to 95 percent of the people. So from just this basic concept you can localize the lesion and th th this was MCQs that came in the FCPS part first and the only clue was there was aphasia. So the site of lesion is left cerebral cortex. They did not mention the site they only asking about which side is affected that is left side which side is affected that is cortex which portion of the cortex is affected that is the area supplied by the middle cerebral artery another mcq that is confusing is patient is having weakness and his eyes are deviated to the left 
Now this is very important. This is again repeating again and again. Both the eyes. He is talking about both the eyes. Both the eyes are divided to the left. He is not talking about this, the single eye. Now if both the eyes are located to the, to the left, it means he is having something in the, in the eye field, in the right side of the eye field. That is, he is having actually the, the, the left MCA stroke. Whenever there is a left MCA stroke, it causes hemianopia. So actually, the patient is having hemianopia. On the right side of the, uh, uh, on the visual field, he is having anopia. So that's why he is looking toward the left side. A person looks toward the side of lesion. Person looks toward the side of lesion. So a patient is looking toward the left because he is having left MCA stroke and he is having contralateral homonymous hemianopia of the right side. That is very really important. So the first one, patient having paralysis of the aphasia, left cerebral cortex MCA. Patient is having weakness and eyes are deviated to the left. Both the eyes are deviated to the left. So eyes look toward the site of lesion, left MCA stroke. The patient is having paralysis, but his left eye is deviated toward the left. Now that is another scenario. Both eyes are deviated toward the left, and the left eye is deviated toward the left. That is stroke in the brain stem. Paralysis with only one eye moving outward, that is another scenario. And we are confusing it again and again. Both eyes are deviated and his eye is deviated. This is a simple trick. So if a simple single eye is deviated, that is pontine stroke because the sixth narrow comes out of the pons so that is pontine stroke that is not the mca stroke and both the eyes are deviated that is not the pontine stroke that is the cortical stroke person so the this was all about the aca stroke anterior cerebral artery stroke person comes to you with the behavior paralysis of the lower limb and urinary incontinence <clears throat> there is a famous saying i cannot kick you so that i pee on you so by this we can memorize this that this is ACA stroke this is contralateral another is the MCA stroke the patient is having weakness with 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 aphasia which side is involved the one with the language center left side left side left side now if question says the person is having dominant right side hemisphere and he is having aphasia now that was the clue so you have to pick the right side not the left side Patient is having paralysis of the right lower limb with urinary incontinence behavior. So the ACA stroke and the MCA stroke, these, these were the basic things uh, I thought I, I should clear uh, among, among the people regarding this. So if, if you are having any question regarding the ACA stroke, regarding the MCA stroke, because the CPSP will, 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 will not give you even the clue. So you have to pick from just one, one word. So you can ask in the comment below so that I can answer. Now there is a another mcq that is uh, repeating again and again there is a confusion regarding mouth deviation in patient of palsy first thing we should know about which side which facial nerve is paralyzed so normally the mouth is in the center because the the, the, the one side effect is uh, neutralized by the other side effect so when there is paralysis of one nerve uh, so we cannot push back that side so what happened the healthy side pulls that side back and there is deviation so which side is paralyzed that is opposite to the mouth deviation that is very important which side of the of the of the of the facial nerve is paralyzed opposite to the side of deviation because the mouth is deviated to the healthy side and the opposite side it cannot push the the the, the, the end of the mouth back so the, the mouth is deviated to the left right facial nerve palsy mouth is deviated to the right left facial nerve is paralyzed now the, the the other thing we should know about is it is upper motor it is upper neuron or it is lower motor neuron regarding facial nerve palsy if there is involvement of the eye facial nerve palsy with involvement of the eye or patient is having loss of that wrinkling if the whole face is involved but they will not tell you they will not even give you a clue that the whole face is involved they will only talk about the mouth deviation but for general purpose you must know if, if with mouth deviation there is eye involvement so you come from the cerebral cortex towards the pontine pontine region
in the ponds so there is mcq regarding that person is having weakness of the left side of the body with mouth deviation to the left side now <clears throat> what is meant by contralateral and ipsilateral now we are confusing this weakness of the left side of the body with mouth deviation to the left we think that this is ipsilateral but that association should be taken between the facial narrow to the weakness of the body not weakness of not uh, mouth deviation mouth is deviated toward the healthy side so what we do we confuse this thing person is having weakness of the left side of the body mouth deviation to the left so we think this is epsilateral and we commit mistake we pick internal capsule we pick mca we pick corticospinal tract while the thing is weakness of the body should be associated with the facial nerve paralysis so if a person is having mouth deviation to the left side that means his right facial nerve is paralyzed and if his right nerve facial is paralyzed and the weakness of the left side of the body so weakness of the left side of the body and facial nerve paralysis on the right side so these two are contralateral that is not epsilateral these two are contralateral and if there is contralateral representation you already know that that is pont pontine stroke another mcq is patient is having weakness of the left side of the body with mouth deviation to the right side opposite to that now his mouth is deviated to the right side and he is having weakness on the left side the mouth is deviated to the right because his left facial nerve is paralyzed so left facial nerve par paralyzed with weakness of the body these are epsilateral so the, the the lesion is in the internal capsule now they can they can actually change the, the stem instead of internal capsule they can ask about the mca stroke this is the, the the typical presentation of the mca stroke or they can they can they can give you the option of the cortex cortex corticospinal tract internal capsule these all are the answer to 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 to, to, to this thing but this must be memorized that we are taking association between weakness of the body with facial nerve palsy now if if there is contralateral representation weakness of the left side of the body with facial nerve paralysis on the right side they are actually not giving you further details that he is having actually the the the, the paralysis of the whole face because this is pontine stroke and how would you differentiate between it is central stroke or peripheral stroke we are further digging that contralateral presentation now if a patient is having six narrow palsy also that is horizontal gaze palsy he has a abduction nerve is work is not working so he is having problem in the brain stem but already they have uh, given you the clue of weakness so already you are having pontine stroke so regarding facial nerve paralysis i will make another video uh, in which we will differentiate between the central nerve paralysis and the peripheral nerve paralysis but the idea behind that is if they if they are giving you the clue of the of the sixth nerve palsy or if they are giving you the clue of weakness of the body then it is central nerve paralysis but if there is the whole facial nerve involvement without weakness now and, and the whole body and the whole face is involved this is mean this is peripheral stroke i will make another video on that thank you for watching